Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty. Um, today we're going to look at uh, mission in month number 7, Operation Blood Slap, and it's probably going to be a pretty bloody slap. Our squad contains of Mike the Plaplic Bravo as a gunner, our Shinobi Wildcat, an Assault Ghost, a Sharpshooter Aftermath, Specialist Bob Ross, and Grenadier Pitbull. So, so far so good. We do have six uh, soldiers, however, we also have 36 um, opposition. And if my memory serves me well, the baseline was relatively high, I think around 26. So even if we were to boost, it would only get marginally better. And that's a problem. Um, 36 enemies means uh, we're probably going to have pots of kind of the size of six to eight a pot um, and not only four but probably even more pots than that so I'm fully expecting even more than 36 enemies in there because we have a dark event running for extra enemies and I'm not sure if they are here on the mission planning. Nevertheless, for some good YouTube content, I will try to attempt this feat, knowing farewell that it's pretty much on the edge of impossible uh, or very difficult. All right, and we landed. Let's take a look. First and foremost, we don't have any concealment because we have only partially infiltrated and that isn't the worst because it allowed us to immediately get a sky ranger call so six rounds got an explosive over here that's not bad, so we could get rid of parts of the house if enemies would be there. And the house offers us a pretty decent vision protection, so might really want to play alongside that route. I am not convinced about this here. That looks like a trap. I like the high ground, but I'm super, super cautious that we're not running into multiple packs at once. So let's spot out if there is a pack on the side. Apparently the answer is no, which is great. Pretty sure there is a pack over here though. So the sniper gets into this position in order to steady his weapon. We can still grapple hook to get onto high ground into full cover here if we need to fight into this direction. Moving to position. Pulling back a little bit just so we're not engaging any pack on this side. I would like to take this one, but there might be a pack over here. I'm almost paran uh, paranoid. See what years of XCOM did to me. I'm going. Got the shotgun overwatch isn't great normally so i can just double move bob ross takes this spot here Running. and got it. mike takes the spot up front got one overwatch got one steady weapon pitbull overwatches as well and let's hope that no heck is going to find us. All right, nothing happened. That's great news. Let's 
Let us start to shortly spot out what else is out there. Checking each of uh, the, uh, the fields here, just to see if there are any enemies. Doesn't appear to be the case. It's surprisingly calm. Is what he said before he's triggering 15 enemies. And have you seen there is another pack just right behind them? <laughs> okay, what are we dealing with? There's a prismatic pack over here. And we got like what? Two drones, a mech. Three vipers, a normal trooper, and a mutant. That normal trooper almost seems like he had been slapped on top of the pack. So it's probably from the dark event. I like the idea of high ground. I like the idea of taking out some of them right away. So got a good position there. Um, let's see if Mike was to area suppress, which I think is the best course of action here. He would hit like what? One, two, three. One, two, three. Plus he would area suppress uh, the guys in the back. One, two. One, two, and that Viper appears to ignore it. I think that's the best suppression that we could get. The next pack is area suppressed on top um, on top of it, which is comical if you think about it. All right, we can't move too close, elsewise we're going to be targeted. By the, oh, we're going to trigger the other pack, which is a bummer because the shotgun isn't really great on long range. Let me see what we can do, though. Um, I'd like to give Mike here a bit of an aid protocol so that if they take shots at him, it should be impossible to hit him. Also, let's take over the drone. That will not trigger the pack because the other pack wouldn't yet know that we have control of the drone. Unfortunately, not successful. It's a bummer. Could have used it as a nice little punching back because they would have attacked the drone instead of us. Moving into full cover over here. I 
And we could get rid of... Or we could shred them really well. As for flashbangs, I mean, yeah, we could also flashbang, but I think that's a bit overdone. We should keep that for uh, the next round. Instead, well, let's get rid of the armor. Oh, very nice damage. Could kill the Sidewinder. I'd like to kill the mech. Damn it. Moving into full cover, we're keeping our run and gun for later. 45% chance to hit. It won't, it won't be able to reach us and stun us, so the best thing that it could do is disorient us. And I think two shots with 30% statistically are better than one shot with 45%. And we might be able to take out the drone. Oh, that's a good start. Come on. Yeah, okay. Nice try, though. I think we're going to kill the Sidewinder. Let's go for it. Alright, that's one down. Let's give over another action. Yeah, and I think we're still going to target the drone. Alright, we killed two. Suppressed most of them. Let's see what the enemy is going to do. That's into full cover plus suppression, so almost no chance of hitting it. Double movement, all right. Shit, we're disoriented. We definitely need to get rid of that. So far, so good. Come on, let's hit the mutant. Nah, I was hoping that he would hit them. Okay, we did not pull the other pack. That's great news. I was honestly afraid that that might happen. We're taking revival protocol because we can't afford to lose the sniper now. Moving into our next cover position over here. Kill the drone. All right, let's go. Solid hit, come on one more time. 
Damn it. Gotta kill the mech. Most likely the most dangerous target. Still has a second set of um, rockets. And we can't allow that to happen. So let's get rid of it. And this here should kill the drone plus um, get us into concealment. Meaning we can't be targeted up here. Perfect. Worked like a charm. So... We still got Mike left over, whom we certainly will use to kind of area suppress the three here. Not sure if I should show myself yet. We still don't know what the pack back here is if it had moved away or not. There were grenade explosions, uh, so they should actually join the fight instead of moving away, and I certainly don't want to pull another pack. Okay, so... Gotta remove... the overwatch there. And gonna do it without going too close and without pulling another pack. So this is the only cover that we could take. We are rapidly deploying our smoke grenades. Which I like to place over here. can't get all of our soldiers into smoke, but we can get the majority into the smoke. Trying to get our sniper also into smoke, but it seems to be not working. Wait, that that is going to work. All right, good enough. Good, and now... We're getting rid of uh, the mutants overwatch, or suppression rather. Allowing us to reload and basically re-suppress him. Can't hit all three of them, but at least two. This Viper here has lightning reflexes, I think, so that's a bit of a bummer. But our chances of hitting them are too low. So we're going with an area suppression. Taking some shots onto the Sidewinder to uh, kind of start softening it up. Um, and for the rest. Uh, 
Yeah, the Sidewinder here is blocking a lot of our movement options. Moving on target location. Don't want to lose concealment. So we're just overwatching. Just in case someone is coming from this side, we could at least take an overwatch shot. But I want to keep the concealment because it will be helpful. And as long as we're only fighting one pack, we're going to be fine. That was a suppressed shot. We're immune against poison. No flanking option. That's a shot into full cover. He's going to move. Well, into full cover with suppression. Lovely. Let's kill the mutant. <laughs> of course. Of course, we're not getting him down. to kill the sidewinder but we need to get on top of the roof in order to do that alternatively we could go up to here but that might trigger something all right making room so that our Salt can actually move up. Unfortunately, just one shy of doing it normally without run and gun. Perfect, that worked well. We're decently positioned over here. Let's try to kill the mutant. Who's down to what? One HP? No, two. Okay, well. Moving into full cover. Let's kill the mutant. Finally. Very satisfying. Very satisfying. Okay, we got one more enemy, uh, two more enemies to deal with. We could suppress her, which is probably the right play. And I don't even need to reload because uh, the Viper has lightning reflexes anyways. But as long as she stays there, which she did the last few times, we're going to be fine. That, however, is a problem. Mutant Elite, three mechs, shield bearer, 
sectored commander. Holy fuck, what what a massive pack. Holy shit. That's a like 200 hit point pack. 38 hit points, 5 armor, advanced max. <laughs> okay. Still half cover. I mean, he was flanked, but the smoke pr uh, offered some protection. Wow, we are... We are effed. Let's deal with this guy here first. Moving back into full cover. Trooper say it takes some decent damage. I'm wondering if we should just go over here and kill the Viper. But we do have a strong position here, so I I don't know. I don't know. We probably can't afford to just wait. That's not gonna work. Next turn, a lot of mech fire will be coming in. I can already foresee that, so incoming is a must. Don't... We got to deal with a Berserk. And we can't cluster up too much. Otherwise, they are going to use their rockets. I do have an idea how to deal with a Berserk. Let's first deal with the trooper, though. Check it before you get too close. Good. Now the question is, shall we move? Reload. Or steady the weapons. Steadying is not a good option. We do have a lot of enemies down here. This is probably the right play. Let's make sure people can move far enough. Closing on target position now. And let's scout one more round. So we know the prismatic pack has left, that's great. Not sure why they did that, because they have heard that there is some fighting going on. But okay. We will need the sniper in a good position. Half cover is full cover for him. Probably over here or here. This here is full cover plus smoke, which is definitely desirable, but really bad shooting angles. This one is better. 
from a shooting angle perspective. But it's pretty pretty much at the front line and you don't want your sniper to be at the front line. So we might end up using this position here. I guess that'll be okay. The reason why I want to withdraw just a little bit is we gotta deal we gotta free up this position up here. No problem, we can't be clustered up. Good, so that's a decent position. Now, time to take out the beast. It'll be gone for one round, but that is certainly not enough time to to kill it, and definitely not a reason to to already be happy about it. Can move over here. It's probably not a bad idea. Meaning Mike's going to be the frontliner. And let's try to kill the Viper. Come on, Mike. Mike Tate's takes the aid protocol here. And Overwatch. This is going to be a super tough battle. Those enemies are incredibly sturdy. I'm all right. Yeah, thanks for uh, using incoming because we knew that that was about to happen. The max five armor. What the actual fuck? Oh boy, this is not looking good. I'm wondering where the sectoid commander was uh, standing. I saw a war cry symbol here, but I wasn't sure. I mean, we got a great shotgun. And shotgun to the face is always my favorite, but I'm just not sure if we can kill this mutant with it. So we got a smoke grenade and a flashbang left over. Would be nice to get rid of uh, the zombie by using a flashbang. But I don't know where that um, sector has positioned himself. It 
seems as if we can hit at least the mutant and the uh, berserk at the same time, which means the mutant would need to move somewhere. There are no windows in here. At least no compromising windows when we're moving away. Uh, the mutant essentially would be taken out of combat for one round, so we can deal with the max rapid deployment. And this here should hit both the mutant and the berserk. Good, not bad. Did not get rid of uh, the. Did not get rid of uh, the zombie, but everything else worked in our favor. Smoke grenade. We could put that down here. And essentially also position ourselves to here. Not the worst play. Kind of standing our ground and potentially need to evac out. I'm on it. Yeah, I think we need to well, I think it's advisable to use a smoke grenade here. Yeah, that's okay. We got another spot of high cover essentially right next to her. All right, so what are we going to do with the rest? Move to here. That would be pretty risky, but at the same time, I mean, whom are we going to kill first? We don't have, who can shred these uh, things? They do have five armor. Kill the Mac Longbow, and that's pretty much about it. I mean, it would be cool if we could control one of those guys. That would change the tide of the battle quite dramatically. Might as well give it a try. So let's heal Pitbull. If we can't do it, we need to evac. Or let me put it this way. If we can't make substantial progress this turn, we need to evac. Because these guys are just going to bully us out of uh, this mission. Way too many hit points. 25%. Come on. Ah. Oh, so bad. Okay, so we could take some loot and then essentially attack the Viper. Got this guy over here. Got to deal with it. Mike could move over here into full cover. Wow, 
that would be clustering up. They will just rain um, rockets down on us like there is no tomorrow. It would be nice if we could get rid of that over uh, that suppression. So those two are being taken out. If we position ourselves here, that's still a problem. Can't do it. We're being pretty outnumbered here. And even the zombies have 10 hit points. That's crazy. Slowly but surely going for the max. Let's grab the loot and next turn we're probably going to get out of here. Well, that was not the best loot ever. Okay, we can kill it next turn. And Mike, honestly, just needs to get into a full cover position, like over here. Even if that incentivizes rockets. Only one of them is going to shoot rockets um, because that's just how the AI works. Unfortunately, we couldn't shred him. Oh shit, I forgot we have um, a Centurion on top of it as well. Holy. I think the rockets will now kill Mike, or at least injure him. <laughs> that pack is just way too strong. I don't even know where to start. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Really, I don't even know where to start. Rock and roll. Is, is this salvageable? So, if we were to take an action, how would this turn play out? Bob Ross essentially would need to 
stabilize and heal Mike. That means Mike is at what, 9 hit points, but our sniper is super low. We got three incredibly angry max, two of which have 40 hit points and five armor. We got this mutant um, elite with a plasma, heavy plasma, just going to wipe us. Uh, not even talking about the Centurion. And we got the big boy who is pretty angry. Sometimes you've got to know when to run. And that's one of those times. Just in time. Taking a nice little evac. Saying fuck you to uh, the shield bearer for helping them. On the move. Don't even know where to start. This is so messed up. I'm sorry guys, believe me I really wanted to do this. But six people in magnetic weapons can only deal so much damage. Thank you. Well, well, well. Look at that. No promotions. We got a, definitely a few kills. I mean, we wiped the first squad completely. But the second pack, that was just abnormal. Mutant Lethal. Two massive mechs um, with extra hit points, then the mech longbow, the big uh, massive berserk, then on top of it uh, the shield bearer just to make it more beefy, we had a uh, psionic commander in, in the back on top of that. I've, I think I still forgot something. So yeah, one or two more. None of those targets are quote unquote soft targets or can be easily killed. They are all just like very, very beefy. We got some loot out of it, I suppose. But we couldn't hinder Advent. Yeah, let's wait just until we're done here. Nice, look at our supplies. I'm still a little bit miffed that we were not able to do that mission. But we probably would have needed way better gear. I mean, six top-equipped soldiers might have pulled that off, but it still would have been a hard sell. Still would have been a hard sell. Well, 
Okay, overall, let's take a look. Um, nothing to do here. We're continuing our recruiting process here. Um, down here, we're fine. This is looking good. Well, and here everyone's on supplies, so that is definitely good. I'm just wondering, out of curiosity, how about... We're just trying to recruit more than 12. Maybe the maximum was 14, and I'm just not aware of that. Okay. There is a new potential mission for a scientist. I would like to get that scientist. But two days, ten hours. Ah, uh, that's pretty much on the edge. I don't know if we can do that. Let's give it a try and see if I can bring a team together. Well, it looks like this is not going to work out. I was hoping that with a boost I could kind of get into the 90-ish area, but that's not really going to work out. Yeah, I played a bit back and forth with options here. And this scientist is probably not a rescuable. Smash and Grab mission, on the other hand, is very much rescuable. By the way, why do we have a baseline of 16 to 18? Oh, because Advent has increased strength level to 6. Well, Setting course for sector three. that makes an awful lot of sense. Let's see if I can get a team for the Smash and Grab mission. So before I could even finish outfitting everyone, um, we're now uh, forced to essentially do the next mission. We will have a team that can do uh, the rescue mission. I already double checked. So that's going to be fine. I would end the mission up here. Not every single run or not every single mission can be successful. We haven't lost anyone. It was damn close. Um, and we learned a lot about how strong packs can be. And definitely I will need to invest uh, the money that we've now got into better gear. Uh, it's clearly a massive ramp up of uh, the difficulty curve. But with upgraded weapons we're going to... Uh, slaughter the alien scum. Don't worry guys, if you enjoyed what you've seen and want to support the channel, feel free to leave a comment or a like down below. Elsewise, we're going to see each other in the next mission. Take care, bye bye.